It's not a bird. It's not a plane. It's a drone made partly from pineapple leaves. The design is part of a sustainability project at Malaysia's Pucha University, led by Professor Mohammed Tariq Hamid Sultan. This current project is to transform these agricultural waste into a potential aerospace application, which is a drone structure. Tarek's team uses discarded pineapple leaves to create the skeletons of aerial drones. The most important thing of this particular design is we are using agricultural waste, which is we are transforming the leaf of the pineapple fibre into a fibre, and that particular fibre, who has been seeing that this fibre can be used for aerospace application, basically in inventing a drone. According to researchers, drones made from natural materials or biocomposites are tougher, lighter, cheaper and easier to dispose of. Tarek says the drones are currently able to fly up to about a thousand metres high and stay in the air for about 20 minutes. The pineapple waste comes from farmers in the Hulu Langat district, who would usually discard or burn the pineapple leaves after harvest. That process can cause air pollution. But now, farmers like Irwan Ishmael can sell their agricultural waste to bolster their income. Contoh, dalam tiga ekar tanah ini mungkin boleh menghasilkan lima ataupun sepuluh tan hasil daripada bumbungan ini. Dan cuba bayangkan kalau misalnya kata harga itu dalam satu kilogram mencecah ke lima atau enam ringgit. Daripada kan sajalah dengan empat atau lima tan itu. Maknanya ia memberikan satu impak kewangan yang bukan sedikit, bahkan besar kepada. Researchers hope the project, which was launched in 2017, will encourage other scientists in Malaysia to make good use of the waste. The next step would be to develop a slightly larger drone to be able to carry some payload, which would carry some imagery sensor and even some other uh, sensors that, I mean, some other payloads that would benefit the typical farmer around here. So our role here is to help the industry, help the, help the farmers to actually explore into uh, fourth IR uh, what do you call it, uh, technology and uh, innovations that would, that would help them increase their yield and in, uh, make, make their jobs much easier.